Hi, Claudia here from Create with Claudia. Thanks so much for joining me. Today we're going to be working on a really fun project and then we're not using the sewing machine today, which is sort of nice. Sometimes I like a project where I can step away from everything and just do something a little different. And this is one of those projects. It's an easy no-sew scrap fabric decoupage uh, collage. It's perfect for wall art. We're making the flower, but you know, you could tailor this to anything you wanted to do. You could do a heart, whatever shape you want to do. Just, it's like painting with fabric. It's a lot of fun. It's sort of something totally different than sewing pieces together. And it's a really great way to use up some of those pieces of fabric that you have, especially in this one, uh, I used a lot of those really thin fabric strips that I love to use. Um, just never can figure out what to do with them. So this is one of those projects. So I hope you join me and make a fun uh, piece of art today. I'd love it if you'd hit the subscribe button. I always love getting new subscribers. Thank you so much for doing that. Also, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, my social media is at Create with Claudia, and I post things daily to those sites. So thanks so much for watching and enjoy the video. So we're ready to do this beautiful piece of fabric art. And here are the supplies you're going to need. You're going to need a canvas, and these are those prepared ones you can get at like an arts and crafts store. You can get them online as well. I believe this one is 11 by 17. Um, you can get them bigger, smaller. This is the flower that I'm showing you is really just a guideline. You can make any painting you want. That's the beauty of this. And depending on how many scrap fabrics you have, you can make it any color, any size, any shape. That's um, that's what I love about this project. It's just a lot of fun and it's not sewing. <laughs> it's, it's, every once in a while I just don't like to use that sewing machine. But anyway, here this, you're going to need a pair of gloves. Uh, this gets really messy, so I highly recommend using gloves. You don't want to get all that glue on your hands. You need a sponge brush. I think that works. You can also use a regular paintbrush, you know, the kind with bristles, but I like the sponge brush, excuse me, brush for this one. A nice old pair of scissors. You will be trimming away some fabric, so you want, and I use old ones because, again, I don't want to get glue all over them. You do need decoupage glue. I use Mod Podge. I love it. Uh, this is a matte version. I like matte for this project. Uh, this brand comes in all sorts of uh, fi finishes and, and types of glue, but I just use the plain old matte Mod Podge for this, and, I don't, I, and there, I'm sure there are other brands as well you could use. And you're going to need a fair amount of it. You want to cover your work surface. I have covered it with paper towels and underneath, I don't know if you can see it, I had an old tarp that we used for painting. So um, I use that because I don't want to get this glue all over everything. And believe me, it'll stick. You will get messy in this. <laughs> and last but not least, and my favorite part of it, are all these fabric scraps. I'm going to use this one. Now the picture you saw at the intro was blue with uh, yellow flowers. I'm going to make a green background with coral flower, with coral flowers. I thought that'd be sort of pretty today. A little different. First thing you wanna do, this is easy, you're just gonna put those gloves on. Now what I'm gonna do is show you the first few rows and then I'm gonna sort of put it on fast forward and show, I will show you how to finish it and then um, I'll come back, but I will show you how to put on the first few rows just to get you started. Okay, you're going to start at one end, like you can, either end, whatever you want to do, and I do cover the ends with fabric, so I'm going to go ahead and I put about like two inches of glue on just to get going. I will be adding plenty more. See, I'm already dripping, so it's, you definitely want to cover your work surface and And I am very generous with the Mod Podge. The fabric, it sort of absorbs it and I will put it on top as well. Okay, so there's your bottom little row here. And then we're gonna start adding some fabric. So we're doing the greens first. Let me move the pinks out of the way or these corals out of the way. And I just start picking fabrics. If you want you can sort of lay them down first. I didn't do that here, but you could always sort of uh, audition the fabrics, if you will, uh, if that's a, the right word for it. Uh, it's up to you, you know. Now, I like to go over the sides, and I will lay it down 
smooth it with my fingers. The Mod Podge is sticking to it and I'm gonna cover it. And I wanna make sure that side is covered nicely. The corners are a little tricky. You're probably gonna have to come back and um, uh, cut them away a little bit and sort of fiddle with them a little bit. And then like this side is a little long. So I'll just cut that away. A little more glue. And then once you have it in place, now I leave all these little strings on there. I, I don't leave them all on there, but these I do because they're gonna get covered up with more fabric. Um, if there's a really obvious one, I'll take it, I'll cut it off or pull it off. So you've covered it with glue and then you're ready for your next strip. Now I wanna cover a little bit more. Uh, you probably can't see that real well. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Uh, you want to cover it just a little bit more there on the edge. So let me get a small strip for that. So this one, maybe you just want to do a little bit more. I find smoothing it with my fingers first helps get that glue set and then it's easier to, to apply the glue on the outside. So once that's set, you're going to put some more glue on the, out, uh, the outside on top of the fabric. And you'll come back, once it's all dry, you will come back and sort of cut off any of those extra pieces of fabric. Okay. All right. So I have two layers down. And then I'm just going to keep adding strips. So let's see, I sort of like this. And I don't always like them all the way across. I sort of like to layer them a little bit. Like I might put this one here. Probably needs a little more glue. Just have fun with this. Let you go. Just it's like your kid coloring in a coloring book or on just on a piece of paper. Uh, it's not even a coloring book because you don't have any guidelines or anything. So just it's, let your imagination go wild. <laughs> I think this would be really pretty. Maybe some hearts for a baby's room or something for the wall. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention, very important. I did, and I'll put a note on it when I'm actually editing this video. Work in a well-ventilated area. This glue is pretty strong smelling and um, this does take a little while. So definitely work in a well-ventilated area. Very important. All right. So now we want to fill in all that space there. Maybe I'll put this small one here. Okay, so you get the idea. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna continue doing this until the entire canvas is covered. And when I'm done with that, I'll show you how it looks and then we'll start doing the flower. So I'll be right back. Okay, so it's completely covered the canvas with the green background, and I like the way it looks. I'm gonna just sort of smooth out some edges, get some of those air bubbles out. I've covered it. I, you don't wanna let it dry completely before you put the flowers on. It's a lot harder to put more glue on top when it's dry. It, it, it has a funny texture to it. So we do work a little bit quickly on this, but I'm gonna clean this up and get my flower fabric and get ready to put the flower on. I'm just gonna pick petals from all these little thin, I mean this strip is probably like three quarters of an inch. Now for the flower, I'm gonna cut like a little, like a really long oval shape. Let's see, it might be easier to move this over here a little bit so you can see better. Yep, 
It doesn't have to be perfect. Like so, just like a flower petal. And I'm just gonna look over here, see where I might wanna put it. Let's see. I sort of like it going off the edge a little bit. Let's move some of this. Like so, just fold it and then you're gonna, and that's why I use it when it's, when I, that's why I make the flower when the glue is still wet because then it just sticks on there and I can just put a little bit more on top. Like so. And then I cut more oval, long ovals, bigger the flower, the bolder it is. I like to mix up my petals. Now normally I would not cut this on top of the green, but I want you to be able to see it. Like so, whoops, get rid of that. There's a nice big petal, it's nice and layered. I think that's good, I like that. And then more glue on top. You'll use a lot of glue with this project, I'll tell ya. And then basically what you do is you're gonna cut more petals and work your way all the way around. And then you'll start on this corner. You wanna get maybe a darker center or whatever center you want. Um, but that's how I did my yellow one and you'll see that when I'm done with this one. So I'm gonna finish that and I'll be back in a few. Okay, Whew, finally done. Takes a little while and you may notice at the end there I switched out the center. I had a solid center there and I didn't care for it and I like this pattern center uh, better. I like using the pattern fabrics. Now it's a little hard to see now because the glue is still wet and you would set this aside to dry. I would actually let this dry overnight and then you want to trim off, hopefully you can see it, all these little extra pieces here. Smooth it down before you set it aside to dry. And you might want to set it aside to dry on wax paper. That way it peels off a little bit easier if it gets stuck. So you can see here a little bit, you just need to smooth it down. I just, I love this. I think it's so pretty. I think I, the blue and yellow one that I did earlier that I showed you, um, and this one, I think they look really pretty maybe in a powder room or something, or, you know, positioned side by side or in a, in a, a, a child's room or something. But this method can be used for any picture uh, how much fun would it be to take one of your child's uh, drawings and recreate it with fabric? I think that would be fun. You could do hearts for Valentine's Day. I know if you're a quilter like me, you have tons of scraps. Um, you also want to make sure, one thing I forgot, get all those little strings off that you can. Some may be there um, for good, but sort of adds to the to the charm of it, I think. Not And not all of them. I wouldn't leave every single string on it. It's sort of hard now. My gl uh, gloves are all gluey and it's hard to get them off. You might want to use tweezers or something. But there's your picture. There's your pretty flower picture. I hope you give it a try. It's lots of fun. And it... Okay, so our collage has had a chance to dry. I dried it overnight. And here is the result. I think it looks terrific. I'm so happy with the result. And I love my flower. I love the green. I love that I used the strips. I'm glad I did that. Um, I think it adds a lot of movement to the piece. And I'm gonna also show you the one I did before, the blue one. The one thing I forgot to mention in the other part of the video is when you are doing this and the glue dries, you can see the fabrics get a little bit darker. So it does get a darker overall look. Um, whereas when you're looking at the fabric before you put on any glue, it, it looks a lot lighter. Uh, not a lot, I should say, it, it just a little bit lighter. But that's one difference. But other than that, I think it's easy. It's easy to hang. There you can see the back of it. 
I'm just going to put a nail in the wall and hang it up. And here's the blue one. I don't know if you can see them both that we did before. You can see them side by side. Um, I might just... So this is my easy no-sew scrap fabric decoupage collage uh, tutorial. Uh, you can do this with any fabrics, any design, whatever you want to do. Just have fun with it. It's like being a kid again, coloring, and you can color outside of the lines, which is my favorite thing to do. So thank you so much for watching. As always, I appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel. I'm also on social media at Create with Claudia, so check me out there. And have a great day.